You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You ate like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So turn off your television sets, turn them off now, turn them off right now, turn them off and leave them off, turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now, turn them off! That's, that's the, uh, not only beauty, but this is the kind of radical effect of the distraction. The spectacle is, is working only as long as it provides a certain pleasure. Are living in the age of mechanically or digitally reproduced world of the image. The society of spectacle is the, a particular form of commodity culture in high capitalist society. One of the, the functions the spectacle plays is to distract our consciousness from those real life. So distraction is the key aspect of the spectacle, how spectacle is working. In the board terminology, spectacle designates not a collection of images, and but a social relationship between people mediated by images. These mediations actually brings about those separation of our lives, separation from real life. Our bodies are observed and transformed into certain states. Well, in, in German word, distraction is, is a Zerstreuung. It refers to two things. It's a, a entertainment and distraction. So when we are distracted, it's not kind of paying your attention to somewhere else. You are actually quite uh, enjoying yourself as well. So it's a pleasure. Spectacle is not a kind of very disciplinary political machine, like a propaganda machine to approach you and pers persuade the people or change their or rectify their ideas or consciousness. So people really enjoy themselves. The this destruction of this authenticity and uniqueness is replaced by certain certain form and it is called spectacle hyperreality hyperreal society of simul simulacra or simulation indicates the end of originality for Baudelaire the key characteristics of the spectacle is based on the predominance of the image or unreality over the real. Postmodern society is based on the end of production, the production system which was based on exchange and use value. This value system is replaced by sign value. The Bohr's theory strongly underlines how we perceive commodity.
So it's not just about the, uh, the commodity image as an object. He, in terms of the distraction and separations, De Boer would like to see how we perceive these images. And the point is that it's more ocular-centric optic experience of this image is a key aspect of our experience. Distraction is based on our very uh, visual perception of the image. So it's more like a separation of our senses from our body and, and alienation of our senses from our body. A possible alternative uh, model which goes beyond the society spectacle is how we can actually retrieve our uh, senses, how we can actually uh, uh, reconstruct our fragmented senses, how we can uh, rebuild our separated, alienated lives against consumer culture. And this is not, it's not going to happen through our own uh, spectatorship, it's more our own engagement in real life, right? in, in a philosophical sense, it's how we can engage, how we can uh, be involved in real life, maybe real life implies kind of a more communal uh, relationship, more social engagement, more political uh, participation. It's not kind of very important issue if there is a the distinction between hyperreality or reality. The impact of this uh, hyperreal society on our perceptions and social relations are more important. But in the Times Square, I think this is the, the next stage. You can't resist against those images. You're completely observed, but not as the same way as we are observed by the paintings or masterpiece in the museum. It's more aggressive, more uh, gigantic, and sometimes it's more uh, friendly. It's really approaching you, and when you try, when you try to make a distance between you and the image, actually you are observed by the image. Now is this, the political spectacle is playing in connection with those commodity cultures. So I think that uh, we are now seeing this uh, quite close relationship between the commodity culture and political spectacle through media technology. So Obama's image in the Times Square, for me, no less than the very commodified political spectacle recreated by most advanced media technologies. And sorry for getting bored, but um, maybe the spectacle is getting stronger and stronger. <laughs>